Another question that was asked in the gate economics paper of 2021 was for the production function Q is equal to under root of KL with price of capital given as 4 and price of labor given as 2. Find the values of capital and labor that will minimize the cost of producing 2 units of output. So we have to minimize the cost in this question because it is the cost minimization pro problem subject to the production constraint that is under root KL is equal to 2 units. So that our question is we have to minimize the cost now what is cost here price of capital is 4 so 4 times the units of capital 4k plus 2 times the units of labor minimize this very cost subject to the production constraint our uh, production constraint is k to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 should be equal to 2 because this is our minimized cost subject to the production constraint of producing two units with the given production function so first of all uh, as we know this is called objective function this is the constraint uh, the first step is we set this constraint equal to zero that means uh, 2 minus k to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 should be equal to zero next step is we multiply this constraint by lambda so this becomes lambda times 2 minus k to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 so these are the two steps you should understand uh, easily first uh, we write this constraint function set it equal to 0 and multiply it by lambda okay after that uh, we are able to form the Lagrange's function now our Lagrange's function I will write it by u Lagrange's fu function is simply the addition of the objective function and the resulting constraint function our objective function is this 4k uh, plus 2l and we add this very resulting constraint that is uh, plus lambda times uh, 2 minus k to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 now this is our uh, Lagrange's function we now we partially differentiate that next step is we partially differentiate the Lagrange's function with respect to capital labor and lambda and set them equal to zero simultaneously okay so First, partially differentiating with respect to, let us say, we differentiate with respect to L. So, here 4K, no L is involved. Here, the uh, derivative of L is 1. So, we get here 2. Here, um, we have the lambda. We have here L this. So, 1 by 2 will become the coefficient. We will get here. Uh, we will get here. Uh, this is minus, minus 1 by 2 lambda okay uh, k to the power 1 by 2 and l to the power this uh, minus 1 by 2 get subtracted by 1 so this becomes minus 1 by 2 by the law uh, by the power function rule this 1 by 2 this exponent becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 okay and we set it equal to 0 now when set it, it equal to 0 we will get uh, we will get 1 by 2 lambda k to the power 1 by 2 l to the power minus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 okay similarly differentiating with respect to k so the derivative of k is here 4 we will get 4 derivative of k is 1 4 times 1 is 4 similarly here we will get minus 1 by 2 lambda uh, k to the power minus 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 why because we are simply differentiating this time with respect to k and set it equal to 0 and solving further this will become 1 by 2 lambda k to the power minus 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 4 okay and similarly we partially differentiate this with respect to lambda so we will get 2 minus k to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 0 and further solving this will become k to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 2 okay let this be equation first second and third now we divide equation first by second so dividing equation first by second so what will we get we have 1 by 2 lambda k to the power 1 by 2 l to the power minus 1 by 2 divided by this uh, second uh, equation 1 by 2 lambda 
k to the power minus 1 by 2 uh, l to the power 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 by 4 this 1 by 2 1 by 2 gets cancelled lambda lambda gets cancelled so we get here now here k to the power minus 1 by 2 we transpose this to the numerator the exponent becomes positive so this is k to the power 1 by 2 times k to the power 1 by 2 so i will write here k to the power 1 by 2 k to the power 1 by 2 similarly we have l to the power 1 by 2 we uh, take this numerator of l to the power minus 1 by 2 to the denominator the power gets changed so here is minus 1 by 2 so this will become 1 by 2 positive 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 so i will write here 1 by 2 okay i hope i am making myself clear i have made the videos on the optimization problems so you can check uh, out there also now this is k to the power 1 by 2 k to the power 1 by 2 is k divided by l is equal to 1 by 2 or our k is equal to 1 by 2 k is equal to 1 by 2 l so the value this is our relationship between capital and labor now we insert this value in our third equation okay to get the value of k our k is this so here in place of k i will write 1 by 2 l it is whole power 1 by 2 and we have l 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 and we can write it here like this i can write it as this is uh, 1 divided by 2 under root l to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 2 or this is simply 1 divided by under root 2 now same exponent same basis so exponents gets uh, added so this is l is equal to 2 or we can write l is equal to 2 under root 2 so our optimal level of labor is 2 under root 2 now to find the optimal level of capital we substitute this l is equal to 2 under root 2 in the equation third so i will write k to the power 1 by 2 here we have k to the power 1 by 2 in place of l i will write this 2 under root 2 uh, 2 under root 2 power 1 by 2 is equal to 2 so we can write it is here like this k times 2 under root 2 whole power 1 by 2 is equal to 2 now transposing the exponent on rhs so we will get k uh, times 2 under root 2 so the power becomes square when transposing or uh, rather the root becomes square when transposing to rhs so this will become 2 square that is 4 okay or we can write it like this uh, k is equal to 4 divided by 2 under root 2 and rationalizing so this will become 2 under root 2 divided by 2 under root 2 so this is here 4 twos are 8 under root 2 8 under root 2 we get here 2 twos are 4 and root and root this will become 2 so 2 twos are 4 twos are 8 so we get here 8 so solving this we will get the value of k is equal to under root 2 so the optimal level is l is equal to 2 under root 2 and capital is equal to under root 2 this option uh, is uh, right if i had made the calculation right i hope i make myself clear thank you